Welcome back to Seeker Strength. Today's video is brought to you by the Seeker Strength stream of weightlifting programs. We have our continuous four week monthly block program, four sessions per week. We have our 12 week beginner weightlifting program, and then we have our snatch and clean specific programs, eight weeks in length. All right, like an asshole, I left the camera in the office. It says we've only 28 minutes of video left on the phone, and I need to delete things, but I hate deleting things off the phone unless I've saved them because I always like having my lifting videos from years back because you never know when you might need them again so I need to delete some things uh, it's raining in Ireland as usual and Irish weather is something to be experienced it's when it's warm here it doesn't get dark like 10 o'clock in the middle of June and if there's nice weather it's unbelievable the country's fabulous but most of the time it just rains and the amount of sunshine we get is so limited you wouldn't believe. Now obviously just Northern Scandinavian people listening to this and they're like me 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 me. But it's uh, it's definitely something to be experienced. Anyway, let's go training. Okay, so here is the first of three sessions from this training vlog. So this is a pretty decent session. So there was a lot of singles, or not a lot of singles, but let's say some heavier singles. So I worked up on some waves slowly from 100 to 115 and finally finishing up at 120. So I wanted to several singles at 120. So my comeback 1RM or my current 1RM or the, the refrigerating 1RM as people on Instagram were calling it and uh, the refrigeration story is currently 125. So a couple of singles at 120. Those singles are kind of meaningless in some ways. They're great to base my working weights off of but they don't really mean much in other ways. But wanted several singles between three and five, as I mentioned, at 120, and I'm very, very happy that it was. A little bit tired last night after training and Jiu Jitsu sessions. I'm very, very happy with these pulling positions. The overhead position still needs a bit of work, I think, and I'll keep working on that. But the uh, in general, it was a decent session. Still need to sweep the barbell back further. My knees are slightly in the way on these. Really what I need to be doing is getting further back my heels. So that's kind of a problem for myself. It's something that I wouldn't recommend you focusing on. But something I need to focus on just to use my leverages and the way I pull. So I need to actually focus on sweeping back my heels. It's something you don't need to think about for a very, very long time as a beginner and intermediate lifter. And potentially never, but it's something that I have to focus on for now. Is to make sure that barbell is moving backwards and it's something i was focusing a lot on these it wasn't happening perfectly but these are also some satches i'm very very happy with so i was quite happy with those uh they just need more finesse more work a little bit of sharpening up but the weights are definitely going the direction that i want them to then we've done to clean and jerks so i was hoping for a couple of singles at like 130 ish to 135 depending on how they felt so the current again 1rm in bunny quotes is 140 at the moment but I'd say probably north of 150 at the moment now. So I wanted a few singles at 135, just below the kind of maxes, as you see, just about five heels below. But obviously, again, you know, maxes in inverted commas. So last set at 130 here. So I was very happy with these cleans. The biggest thing for me that's made a real difference in my snatch clean and jerk, and this is just a personal thing I need to address, was a shitload of pulls for repetitions my lower back was very weak coming back after training or after the break and it was really highlighted to me from my lifting so i really focused and i'm really focusing on the pulls so last single 135 here very happy with the technique in these uh, jerk is quite good positions are good nice speed okay just finished the session basically did exactly what i wanted so i was hoping for singles at 120 I wanted three singles at least up to a max of five, got four, was very happy with that. And then singles 135 in the clean and jerk, they felt so good. My grip had actually drifted out weirdly on the clean for I don't know, what, not sure what reason. Brought it back in, feels so good. Mobility is good. Knees are, patella slightly flared up at the moment, but not a huge issue. Lads, I cannot tell you how much I enjoy weightlifting. Um, the sense of ecstasy, the nirvana I reach for after a good session, listening to music training by myself. I cannot begin to describe to you how much it, I enjoy it. I just cannot describe the level of satisfaction. And it's so funny because I've been lifting for so long, I assume now it's even more ingrained than it's ever been. And maybe the, the feedback mechanism 
is more every year but it just feels so fucking good and uh, I hope anyone who's new to lifting you give it enough of a chance and you put in enough work to get this feeling because it is literally literally like fucking drugs all right moving on to the following day so this day i was just kind of hoping to do some heavier squats but as i mentioned in a previous log tele tendons are flaring up just a little bit mostly on the right hand side so i've been smashing the isometrics and all the mobility work recently so a lot of isometrics every single day so single leg isometrics and some Spanish squats with a very very heavy band and the pain is reducing nicely I wouldn't say I would have full-blown tendonitis because there's no way it was only literally in the space of 10 days It kind of crept up in me. So it's a mostly uh, more of an inflammation of the tendon as opposed to you know full-blown medical tendonitis So you'll see what happens later at the squats, but first I did my heavier muscle snatch sets uh, so I worked up around 60, 65 ish today. Uh, for a lot of sets, usually when I do more of these, I go about 50, five or six sets. And then moved on to some no foot plus no foot hang snatch. So no foot is probably my favorite assistance I exercise at the moment alongside powers. The no foots are going well. The power snatch is going well, but my power cleans are still abysmal. So it's something I still need to work very, very hard on. And it's definitely very important for my lifting the power snatch and power clean. Uh, I need to keep pushing those, and those weights just need to be higher. Not only do they need to be good quality, but they need to be higher. So I tried to squat heavy, heavier, got to 170. Now, it doesn't look like it's in pain, but uh, I did the same as single 200, and it was abysmal, so I left it for that day. Surprising enough, though, uh, I was able to finish with some plyometrics, so the <clears throat> kind of further adaption, the, the progression beyond isometrics would be looking at some plyometric work and they were not at all painful so it's interesting it's mostly in very heavy squats where i feel it and some heavier clean and jerks so keep on top of the isometrics and i'll keep working the plyometrics and we'll see how it progresses then moving on to the third day we moved back on to kind of a full snatch and full clean and jerk day so this is mostly straight sets so straight sets at 110 kilos for doubles so those average working weights are moving up and i'm very very happy with that they're going exactly the direction they need to be going so quite happy with the technique of these so they got better as the sets went on main thing i was not doing as well on some of these sets until the later sets is i wasn't pushing off the ground with my legs so i wasn't actually pressing into the ground with my feet and getting my legs as a main driver and it really sharpened up later in the set so what i think about is a lot but it's something i'm able to do with these lighter weights for me so i push to the ground i sweep the barbell back i sweep back to my heels then on the extension i think as straight and as long as i possibly can i think as long as i possibly can and then finish with the arms uh this is just something you know it sounds like a lot but it's something i'm able to do and they get less as the weights get heavier then moving on to clean and jerks we needed some clean and jerk volume today so it was going to be heavy singles again of course so two plus one is the order of the day so the week cycles through singles one plus two and two plus one and that'll continue as that for the foreseeable future so just wanted 120 for a couple of sets i was cautious of my knees from the day before considering how sore they were or how tight and sore they were on the back squats but they're actually pretty good um so i worked up to 120 two sets two plus one uh, very happy with the technique in these the turnover is slow and i need to work on that but the jerks were quite good and i was happy with the positions of the cleans but i'll definitely need to work on the turnover and that's going to come from the power clean for me so i need to keep hustling with those power cleans uh, so knees were feeling good and like a jackass i was like right fuck this i'm going to do some squats so finish up that last rep at 120 nice and easy nice and fast really happy with that split jerk position so i finished up at 200 for two sets of three on the squat one thing i did change was i slightly turned my knees out to reduce forward knee travels take some of the pressure off my tendon and i think these were quite successful let me know which outfit variation is your favorite i know which is mine so i was quite happy with that session the right tendon is significantly sore than the left but both of them has reduced massively in pain uh, we're actually gonna be doing a video on tendons in the near future within the next week or two uh, so watch out for that but isometrics are your best friend when it comes to tendon issues and i was quite happy with these so hopefully if i stay on top of my mobility isometrics and plyometric work hopefully we'll be able to save it off but judging how these felt uh, i was quite happy with that i know i said i do 220 for a triple but 
the gods of weightlifting always strike down a man who is proud and they struck me down a little bit but i'm on the way back up i'm on the way back up to steal the fire like prometheus or steal the squat gains until they strike me down again at which time i will just do more isometrics i imagine so i hope you enjoyed this little training vlog i know some of you said as well that you want to see more warm-ups when i asked you what you'd like to see from the training vlogs so if there's anything else you'd like to see i will make sure to get that and i'm going to just do a different video i think for the warm-ups i do instead of jamming it into the training vlog thanks for watching if you could leave a comment for the algorithm and most certainly press a like as well that would make a big difference the comment you can leave today is your favorite color t-shirt yeah that makes sense yes if you leave me your favorite favorite color t-shirt in the comments for the algorithm and we can just confuse it and they won't know thanks guys